The Pegasus World Cup is a relatively new horse race and it's very quickly turned into a huge race with a massive prize money for the uh, winner and it's attracting some of the best horses in the upper division and I wanted to quickly uh, discuss the race maybe some of my picks and what horses to look out for so I'm just gonna what I'll do is I'll give my storyline entering into the race and then I'll just go one through there's 12 horses and I'll just give a quick word about each one and then uh, it's definitely worth watching because um, not only there's some it's a really quality field but because of the huge purse and um, and it's on NBC this year so uh, that's that's cool it's easy to watch for everyone this for me the story going in is all about Gunrunner it's um, just Gunrunner 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 for sure if you look at this is probably going to be his last race that's what they've announced they can always you know uh, change their mind but this will probably be his last race and if you look at his career it's been an unbelievable career um, he's been remarkably consistent and he's had some huge wins he was third in the Kentucky Derby um, in the year Nyquist won it and I thought Gunrunner that year ran an awesome Kentucky Derby he um, was right there he was he was so tough and you have to give so much credit to Nyquist and Exaggerator who finished second um, but Gunrunner was <laughs> ran an awesome race and then from there he's run a, run in a bunch of big run in a bunch of big races and he's always almost always given a great effort and he's the type of force that he has so much natural talent that because he gives so much effort <clears throat> it, he's very tough to beat and even when he's defeated it's almost always because of the horses that finish ahead of him and win the race <clears throat> just run an unbelievable race and then if you look at last year which was probably Gunrunner's best year <clears throat> you know he ran he won a couple of huge races uh, during Saratoga in the summer and then his year um, of course kind of crescendoed with uh, the huge win at the British Cup Classic so I'm, I'll get to that in a second but there, this is a but it's this race is not all about Gunnar at the same time because it there's a lot of great storylines and talented horses so I'm gonna get to that so I'll just start with one seeing bullet um, and then I'll just I, this is gonna be relatively quick so I'll just go through them I'm gonna move on now to two West Coast West Coast is the Bob Baffert trained horse who was a three-year-old last year at but didn't run in any of the Triple Crown races but then won some big races like the uh, uh, Pennsylvania Derby and then he was entered into the Breeders' Cup Classic and he actually ran a really good race finished third and he's definitely one that I'm looking for here that potentially will run big and um, I think it's definitely worth keeping an eye on you know he had an West Coast had an unbelievable summer last year and really beat out some of the best three-year-olds and then again if you look at the Breeders Cup Classic he ran a great race three stellar win this is really interesting that there's a filly in here um, uh, or yeah um, so she <clears throat> is an interesting horse because she's um, been racing for a long time and has some big wins and some close finishes and really big races to really other really talented horses it's always interesting when you have you know a girl running in a um, race primarily with male horses um, so that's one to keep an eye out for I'm not sure that to be honest that she's a threat to win and I'd love to be proven wrong with that only thing I'm concerned about is she finished, I think it was 8th in the Breeders' Cup Distaff. She ran really poorly in that race. So I'm just wondering if this is kind of like a roll of the dice by uh, her trainer and the ownership. to kind of say, well, this is such a huge prize money. There's no, nothing really to lose. You know, if she kind of figures it out, then, wow, that would be a great payday. But I'm just not sure here. But I do, I do, I do like the horse, though. Stella Wynn, she's had a great career. For Sharp Azteca, this is another one where it's really interesting. Sharp Azteca is a horse that has kind of been focused on the shorter events, like the um, the the 
mile, the straight mile ones. Um, so this is this the uh, Pegasus World Cup is a mile and eighth, so it's longer of a race than Sharp Pass Echo will be used to. But at the same time, it's not a mile and a quarter, which you know is the length of the Kentucky Derby, um, and uh, it was the British Cup Classic. So he doesn't have to run quite as long as maybe um, as one of as a, another big race, but at the same time, that increase in distance is a little worrying for Sharp Azteca. But he's definitely, especially coming out of the four position here. If he gets the early lead, and then maybe he can just sit on that all the way through. So, that's interesting. Five is collected, another Bob Baffert trained horse, and um, finished second in the British Harp Classic. Really talented horse. Um, <coughs> you know, I think if you're... If you're betting on this race, and you're thinking that maybe Gunrunner will slip up here, maybe collected is one that you go to. Um... We'll see. I do like Collected. Um, and again, to finish second in the Breeders' Cup Classic. You know, <clears throat> that says a lot right there. Six is Gunavera. Gunavera is a horse. <clears throat> of course, that was in the three-old season last year. Never really maybe disappointed some people because he didn't run big in any of the Triple Crown races. But he, since then, he has improved a little bit. <clears throat> and... Um, for him to be in here, it's interest. You know, it, it it's interesting, and maybe <clears throat> he can uh, figure it out and run big here. Um, he is, as it's been said many times, he's one of these deep closers. So there's always the potential that you'll have a pace meltdown, especially with like Sharp Azteca collected. Um, and if that happens, he can pick up the pieces a little bit. And then, of course, he's always a threat if you're playing like a trifecta or a superfecta that um, he'll finish in that range. So seven is Fear the Cowboy. Eight is War Story. Nine is Toast of New York. And then ten become the Gunrunner. So I'll just kind of repeat and go back over some of the things I said earlier. One thing I would mention is Gunrunner is four to five on the morning line. And that's actually not too bad. Like, normally you'd say, ooh, that's awful. I'm going to stay away from those odds. But I don't know. If you, if you trust in Gunrunner like I do, like, 4 to 5, okay, yeah, it's not great. But it, definitely maybe not for a win bet. But if you like another horse here to finish second or third, maybe you can get creative with an exact or a trifecta play. Again, 4 to 5 is not great. But if you do have a lot of confidence in Gunrunner, then, again, you can you can try to get creative, but in terms of like the actual race, putting wagering aside, you know, I just love Gunrunner's style. He can pretty much do anything. That's what I love about him. I just love watching him race, and I think he'll probably be at the front. I don't love him being out, you know, all the way outside at 10. I think he runs better when he's inside, but at the same time, you know, it's only a 12 horse field, so he's not too far out there um and you know as long as he's i think in a lot of the races dave just sent him out and the quote was like let gun runner be gun runner meaning like if he wants to go and he's in a good mood let him go because he's so fast but he's been able to um finish and that's and a lot of his running is like easy running. Even though he's going really fast, he's not exerting a ton of energy. He's just kind of going and going. And even if, I don't want to get like praising too much or get too involved with stuff. But even on the turns, very consistent. And he just has a great running style. And that's what I, I, I really like about him. So we'll see. Again, 4 to 5, gun runner in the 10 position. 11, seeking the soul. It told giant expectations. And then there were a few alternates. I know one was Giuseppe the Great, so I don't know. Maybe if there's a scratch. Again, the race is later on today. I'm doing this video in the morning. So Giuseppe the Great would be an interesting horse if he got in there because he actually finished second and beat Always Dreaming in the Jim Dandy last year at Saratoga. So that's just an interesting thing to keep in mind there. Overall, though, it's a great field. You know, I think you could easily see five or six sources different win. And maybe one of the long shots here can can um, 
pull a huge surprise. You know, um, the ones that I'm looking for, you know, would be Gunrunner, West Coast, and Collected. But, you know, those are the three that finished top three in the British Cup Classic. So are they going to do that again? You know, that's, that's tough. I'm, you know, Gunavera, again, that D closer. Sharp Azteca, I'm keeping an eye out, especially with early speed. But again, will he be able to do that over a mile and eighth? And then Stellar Win, I don't know. Um, we'll see, you know, the female in there. That's interesting. It's cool to see at the very least. And then, you know, I didn't really discuss any of the other ones, but um, in a race like this, and if you go over the profiles of some of those other horse horses, you know, some of the ones I just kind of skipped over, like, they have nice results. So if you're going to go either wager online or go to a track today or off track site, um, don't just, like I did, don't just skip over those other horses because, um, you know, you can get burned there. Uh, some of them are talented. So again, I think this horse, the storyline definitely going in is about Gunrunner. It's definitely worth watching because of the great career he had. If it is his last race, you know, whether he wins or loses, you know, that's a big storyline. And then, you know, we'll see kind of like, can a horse step up? I think the one I would keep an eye out for is West Coast because if West Coast does win and runs a huge race, then, you know, after his wins last year, like I mentioned, especially the one at the Travers and then the the pretty good performance that he had at the British Sharp Classic, you know, um, all of a sudden you're talking about a horse that is really trending upwards. Um, but, um, we'll see. So I think it's, you know, I'm, I'm very excited to watch it. So I just wanted to do this really quick. So thank you for watching and, uh, enjoy the race cause it should be really good. You know, the purse is incredible and, um, and it's cool that it's on NBC because that, uh, that makes it easy for everyone to watch.